Hello my peepers, welcome to a new episode of A Color Lawn, Color My Sketchbook Characters. It's the Bennett Klein Color Lawn for November. Oh, this month was just, it's crazy, I'm telling you. No, you're all asking, where's part two? You need to finish the schnauzer. Yes, I know, here we go. This is Steampunk Schnauzer, and if you remember, I had colored the Schnauzer in the hat, well, the base of the hat, and, oh my gosh, where have I been? <laughs> I'm going back over some of this black in the hat, so what happened was... When I made the second video, or the first video I mean, I had every intention, every intention of doing part two in a few days. But Monday morning while I was babysitting, my son Justin said that they had finally agreed to do his back surgery and they were doing it the next day and I'm like okay now he'd been dealing with this is already better he'd been dealing with back pain since February and it just kept getting worse. He'd been to a chiropractor. He gets a massage every week. And he's just in chronic pain. And it was just getting worse and worse. So he was supposed to see his doctor and uh, or the surgeon on a Friday a Thursday or a Friday and it got canceled because he had an emergency surgery so they rescheduled him for that Monday to see the nurse practitioner so he's like fine I need to see someone so he did that and while he was there he was going to tell them that he cannot live like this any longer he wants his surgery ASAP and they totally agreed with him and so they said tomorrow <laughs> so like okay there <coughs> I'm going to do his bow. I think I'm going to do his bow a blue color. So, yeah, we went to... He didn't have to be to the hospital until 1245. So, that gave us plenty of time to get up, get ready, and go vote. Because Tuesday was the voting day. So... We get up and Justin's going to meet us at our house. So I get up, I get dressed, Justin calls me. We have to go now. And I said, why now? They want me in now instead. Okay, so I guess we aren't going to vote. We don't have time now. Now, they want us there in an hour, and it takes an hour between the drive and finding a parking spot, which is a good thing because we ended up having to park on the um, top of the parking garage. There was no parking. So Justin did not get to vote which he was upset about because his vote would have counted and 
who we didn't want got in, unfortunately. So, <laughs> sitting around waiting while he gets all signed in, they have us wait out in the, this is Prussian blue. And I'm using my Dick Flick Studio pencils. So Scott and I sat in the waiting room. I did take a book with me, but some people are really obnoxious with their phones. So you really can't read. So while Justin was being pre well, yeah, getting ready for surgery, Scott and I had to sit in the waiting room. Then they finally called us that he was we could go into the other room where, where he was being prepped. So we went to there. He was doing pretty good. I really thought my anxiety would be bad, and it wasn't. I did not need an anxiety pill. I did pretty good the whole time. I just was getting antsy from sitting around. And no, I'm not the type to take color in with me. Because I'm the type that spreads around, so I would end up going, if I was to color, I would go down in the cafeteria. And I didn't want to sit in there, because then they would have to call me, and I'd have to go back downstairs. So... Justin was doing pretty good. They finally took him in, and the doctor said it'd be like an hour he'd get back to us. So I said, okay, then we're going to the cafeteria, because by this point it's almost 3 o'clock. Was it? Yeah. The, yeah, because his surgery, the first time they told us to be there at 12.45, his surgery would be at 2.45. Well, we got there at 10.45, and they still didn't take him in till almost 3 o'clock for the surgery. And at this point, you know, I have diabetes. I need food. And I had some trail mix in my purse just in case, but I needed food. So once the doctor told us, you know, he'd talk to us in like an hour, I'm like, well, we're going to the cafeteria. So... I ended up having a panini Reuben. It was pretty good. And Scott had a hamburger. So when we were done eating, we um, went back up to the waiting room. And the doctor finally came out and said everything went well. And yes, he had a bulging disc. And it was pressing on his nerve. And that's why he had so much pain. And so the doctor said it was bulging worse than they thought. And they took quite a bit of the disc out. Because he, it was just pressing right down on the nerve. So when um, when Justin came out of it, he said that once he woke up, they had him, you know, move from 
one gurney to the bed and they asked him how he felt and he said the pain is already gone he said it was just sore excuse me it was just sore from where the incision is but he said as far as his back pain and his leg and his legs were awful too because of that nerve and he said the pain is totally gone mom and I said really and he said yeah and I says well maybe that's because of the the pain pills and he said no I don't think so so they decided to keep him overnight once he was all situated, we left. We left around 5, 5.30 so that Scott and I could go vote. So we did that. And meanwhile, while we are at the hospital, I had text Dylan, we're not going to be home for a while. Can you stop at the house, let the dog out before um, we get home? It had been a long day. So he did that. And because they kept it just an overnight uh, and we couldn't get him till the next day, I told Dylan, I'm sorry, I can't babysit tomorrow. I said Justin needs me at the hospital, so Dylan ended up having to take the next day off from work. So we were on our way to go pick up Justin and he called us, where are you? He said, on our way. He said, okay, I've already signed the paperwork. I can be discharged as soon as you get here. I'm thinking, yeah, right, you know how long that takes, another couple hours. And But no, we were gone in like half an hour once we got there. Justin stayed with us from that Wednesday, which was what? The 7th. He stayed, he stayed with us from the 7th and then went home yesterday on the 17th. So... And Thursday I had gone shopping, so I had him tell me what he wanted me to pick up from the store and what he wanted for meals for the week. He wanted stuffed manicotti <laughs> and pulled pork and taco salad. I said, okay. So they have other food in the house, but those were the three meals that he asked for. And then, of course, lunch meat and soups for lunches. And and he was supposed to get up every couple hours and walk around the house. So once I knew he was able to do that on his own, I knew he'd be fine while I babysit the next day. So I had to babysit that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
So he said, I'll be fine. And Scott was available and would be home for him. So my son is now back into his apartment and doing really well. He was going stir crazy. So we went to the mall on a Tuesday, which was, I don't remember the date now, but a week after his surgery. He said, I need to get out of the house. Okay. He had been out of the house. I think the day before, no, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday he had been out of the house because while I was getting ready to go babysit, he got a phone call from his best friend that her brother had died. And only 23 years old. Very sad that was some um, hmm, I think I'll put that there. So, I knew the boy because I used to babysit him when he was a toddler. He was always a really good kid. So, they said the... Um, The call-in hours were going to be Thursday. So, so, good, I don't babysit Thursday, so we'll go. So, but I do want to get my nails done in the morning. And I wanted to try somewhere different to go. Because the lady that was doing my nails does an awesome job. But. She's constantly yelling at me that I cannot have long nails because they are real. And she was constantly cutting them and I kept telling her, I always wear my nails long. And she goes, you can't do that when you have real nails. And so, like, I have always done it. So between that and sometimes I would tell her the nail polishes I want and she'd go, no, that won't look right. And she wouldn't do what I wanted. So I'm like, you know, I need to go to somewhere different. And sh she has a really heavy accent, so I had a hard time understanding her sometimes. Just regular chit chat, not about the nails, but just regular chit chat. So there's a um, the beauty salon in my town. They do nails. So I said okay. So I set up an appointment and went. And I liked them. They didn't have a lot of polish colors to choose from. But they did have a nice variety, and they do, um, they'll do designs on the nails. So, she was very, very nice. She's young. She went to school, or my boys went to school, but she said she was a lot younger than them.
she did my nails and I said, um, well, one of the girls that does nails there, she went to school with my boys. So that's why I went there because someone told me that she worked there and I said, well, her I know, but she's not the one that did my nails, but the one that did my nails, I said, do you also um, cut hair and do the eyebrows or do you just do the nails? And she goes, no, we all do haircuts, eyebrows, and nails except the owner. She just does hair and eyebrows. And I said, oh, cool, then I can make a whole morning of this some other time. And she said, yes. So I was thrilled to hear that. Okay, I do want to try these. These are Pilot G2's Metallics. <clears throat> I have those. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white. Like in here. I don't know if you'll see it. I can see it. <clears throat> but, yep. So, here I asked her, can I have my nails lawn, even though they're real? And she said, well, yes, why? <clears throat> Which I've been told from my friends that, yes, you can. Sorry. Oh my gosh. So she kind of like rolled her eyes when I told her that the person that's been doing my nails keeps telling me I can't have my nails lawn, even though I've been doing it for years. I almost thought about buying the equipment with my YouTube money and just doing my own nails, you know, buying the the UV light and buying the good gel nail polish and doing my own. I've been seriously thinking about doing that, but this person was really nice. And I will go back. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. Oh, and while I was, <laughs> when I walked into the salon, they have a seating area, and there's a cat laying there, big old male Maine Coon. I never did ask what his name was. But... I guess he was a stray and he is the salon like mascot and he's very friendly when I pet him 
and then they called me back to get my nails done and I Justin had dropped me off so he could he was going home to go grab a dress shirt for the call in hours and uh so while I was waiting for him to come and back to pick me up, I was petting the cat. I sat down and he came over and laid next to me and is purring away and the woman there says, um, when he rolls over on his back because he wants his belly rub, she said, don't fall for it. And I said, I have cats. I know that trick. <laughs> know that trick all too well uh, yep he was a male version of of um pearl Looked just like Pearl, only had a male version. He had a wider face. Beautiful cat. But I love my kid, and having him here was nice, but it was nice when he went home, too. Is it messed up my whole schedule of anything, you know, because I don't want to be noisy while he's trying to rest. And when I upload videos, you can't be on the internet because it slows everything down. So he was on his laptop a lot, so I didn't want to tell him you need to get off your laptop. And then um, there was a couple nights I was up till midnight, 1 o'clock, because I didn't have to babysit the next day. So he's like, I usually go to bed at 10.30. And I thought he was serious. I thought he was upset that I was on the phone till 12.30 with Robin one night. And he said, no, I'm just picking. Just, you know, it throws you off. So I didn't get any videos made. And I was helping him and did his laundry one day. He wasn't kidding when he said he drinks a lot of water. He drinks like a gallon a day because he took pop out of his diet like a year or two ago. Even when we go out in restaurants, he asks for water. And then, I forgot. Must have been Sunday night. Sunday I babysat. And I came home and I was so tired from the boys. And I told Justin, we're not, I'm not cooking. I said, there's sandwich meat and soups. And he goes, but I've been eating that all week. He goes, order pizza and wings and have it delivered. He goes, I'll pay for it. So that's what we did. <clears throat> And he watched TV a lot, and I'm used to going and sitting in my recliner at, in the evening and reading, and I couldn't do that because he always had the TV on. I'm not used to having the TV on much. So, you know, it just, just kind of, there, I like that. <clears throat> 
I had to just change a few things that I do. <laughs> was fine. Everything worked out. So I did get a lot of reading in. But I had to sit in my coloring room. Just fine. Okay, let's see. Do we want some bronze? Look, what is this? Do these tell what they are? Platinum silver, plat yellow gold, and bronze. I want bronze. I think I want some bronze. Look. Some bronze. These are the um, Color Collection Bic Marking Pens, Markers. I know I wanted to do a little bit of bronze. Not a lot, just here and there. <laughs> so yeah, went home yesterday. I must have been glad. Now this is yellow gold because um, he went out for dinner with some friends. It was posted on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, that's good. I'm glad he got out. Glad he's and he's allowed to drive again. They told him after a week, so yeah, he was allowed to drive again. They t he thought he was going back to work tomorrow which is Monday, but he needs a note from the doctor, and he called them on Thursday to tell him he had, like, um, he felt like he strained a muscle in the back of his leg because they told him he could go for walks, and I think he might have overdone the walk a little bit, and it would not overdo it because he didn't walk far, but because his body wasn't used to him going out and walking around. That it gave him a little bit of trouble. How are we doing on time? 33 minutes. <clears throat> so he's waiting to hear back from the doctor's office and they never did contact him. And he thought he was going back to work tomorrow. And I said, Well, you're going to have to wait till you hear from the doctor. They told him he would only be out like two weeks. So, we'll wait and see. I just told him don't overdo it. Doesn't need to be back in pain. Okay, so we got some blues going on, and I'm not sure. We probably should have another color going on in this part here. So. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like some a greenish color. How about a greenish color? So let's see. A dark olive green. Olive green light. I think that's all we need is the two colors.
Okay. So I have olive green light, which I'm going to do in the, these lighter colors, or the light area. And I got really behind on videos again, watching videos, and yeah. I was reading. I've been reading like a fiend because I had so many book blogs this month, blog tours, I mean, that. Uh, I couldn't do much of anything else and I needed to get ahead of the game and I will never book that many blog tours again. <laughs> it was crazy so I am caught up my next blog tour is not till the 29th today is the 18th and I am going to read it next just so it's done and over with and then I can read all my Christmas books that I have to do reviews and I have a bunch of books from Grand Publishing Forever that the publisher sent me that I have not read any yet. So that is my goal for the rest of this month of reading. But I am also, I took this weekend to just watch YouTube videos and color. So that's yesterday I finished three whips and watched some videos. So I'm caught up with today's videos. I didn't watch any of the live streams. I did go into Kate's live stream yesterday, but I didn't make Sammy's because I was out grocery shopping. And I've got everybody's information for color alongs for the rest of this year and next year. Like Sammy already put up her color alongs, and John the Bibliophile Colors put up his color alongs for next year. So I have them in my trusty notebook. I am using like medium to hard pressure because I am not um, doing a lot of blending. This is cute. And my next picture will be a dragon picture from one of from his dragon book. I know somebody wanted me to do the unicorn and today's the 18th and I babysit Monday and Tuesday and Friday. But I have Catherine and Kim coming here Wednesday and Thursday's Thanksgiving. So I won't, I sh probably won't have time to make videos. If I do, I will make one on Wednesday. Is they're not coming till after 11, so I might find the time. I don't know, because I, I got to clean before they come over. And can you believe, I still have up all my Halloween stuff. I never got a chance to put up the Thanksgiving stuff. And I really want to get some of it up. I don't have much. I just have a couple things. So it'll be easy to take down on December 1st. But this, we've had such cold weather and snowy weather that, that I normally love the snow. I love the snow and I love the cold. But this winter, it's not even winter yet, it's still fall. 
it is killing my knees. I am having such a hard time getting around. I have rheumatoid arthritis, which normally will bother me maybe an hour to a day and already is killing me. And while I'm walking, my knees are giving out on me and it's just been horrible. So that's why a lot of stuff has not gotten done. I wanted to vacuum. That has not gotten done yet. <laughs> Everything else is picked up and I'm doing laundry. Just have not run the vacuum. You know, the dishes are getting done every day. It's just the vacuuming. And I got Justin slept on the couch, so... I unmade that so I can wash the sheets and pillowcase and stuff that Justin used. So. My husband said that when he was watching the weather not too long ago, they said that we were supposed to have a mild winter. And I'm like, well, it's not even winter yet. We've already had a storm last week. It's been in the 30s. has not gotten above the 30s. So I don't know who to believe. Oh uh, yeah, have not gotten much done. What are we doing on time? 42 minutes. Have you even seen what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah it's just not down here. <clears throat> I do have my live stream tonight. And since it's a cold and snowy day, and I didn't have to go anywhere, I am wearing PJs. It's a PJ day. And I will be making some more tea I did buy some more tea yes I did because I wanted some of the stash brand their Christmas teas and I was gonna order it online but my grocery store had all four of them that I wanted so I bought all four And I had asked in a video who wanted to do a buddy color with me out of Millie Murata's Wild Savannah. And I already have someone, so that's already set up. We just have to pick a, she has to pick a picture. So, in my, in the second week of January... I am looking for a buddy color to color in. See what's my next book. World of Flowers by Johanna Basford. So, if somebody would like to do a buddy color with me out of that book. Please let me know either below or email me or private message me. And since I picked the book, you get to pick the picture because I have 
obviously I am working out of books I have not colored in yet. So that means that you can pick any picture. Okay, now I showed you that. And then I'm going to take the dark olive green and I'm going in where this dark shadow is. Okay. Just in case we don't finish this on camera, because I'm not doing a background. But, you know, he's done and the mechanical parts are done. This is how I'm going to finish. And that's all that's left. It's just this part. I don't know if this will blend in a little more. So, yeah, if you want to, you can blend that in a little more. Yeah. So... That is how I will be doing the other side in case we finish this off camera. So, how many of you have been getting the Bennett Klein pictures done? I have seen quite a few in my Facebook group, and they look awesome. So yeah, now that Justin's out, I will be getting back into the swing of things. Because <clears throat> I had all kinds of plans for November, but my son comes first. think he's cute. Been DVRing a lot of the Christmas 
movies on Hallmark so that I can start watching them after Thanksgiving. I was watching Anne's video today that she had made and she had Christmas music in the background so I didn't watch very much of it because to I'm it's just too early for me. So I watched a little bit of her talking about her um, CPAP machine and I left a comment and then I stopped watching. I just, I yes, I am a bah humbug. I, it's just too early for me. I love Christmas music, don't get me wrong. Absolutely love Christmas music and love the Christmas movies. But, um, too early for me. I have been reading Christmas books just because I had to do them for review. So, yep. Okay, so this side is done, and what do you think? I like those colors. I didn't want a lot of color in it, so we can move on to this side, and we are going to do it the same way as we've been doing the light color and the lighter part. You know, if you do light layers and medium layers, just do a few, or light pressure, medium pressure, I mean, just do a few layers. Like here, I did really light. Not like the other part. So, yeah. And I will go through my dragons, my dragon book, and see what we would color next. And again, I'm sorry this did not go the way I planned. You know, life gets in the way. And I was reading a lot. I still will be reading, but... I can take breaks. Like, and in the evenings I want to catch up on some of my TV shows that I DVR'd that I'm behind on. I did take like two days last week where that's mostly all I was doing was watching General Hospital and I watched Supernatural. So I still have a couple episodes of those to watch and I'll get there. And most of us know that a lot of these shows take go on hiatus during the holidays so I'll get caught up. What time is it? 1.30. Oop. Maybe we should check this. Yep, I got a couple minutes. So I want to thank you all for being patient with me. I need to go make meatloaf.
And this has been fun. And I haven't had much else going on to talk about, so sorry if I bored you about my son. That was how my life's been the past two weeks. So I will say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye, my peepers.